Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Kaizen. Welcome to Grade 8 Physical Education class. In today's lesson, we will talk about the importance of physical activity and what are the things we need to do in order to promote physical fitness. First, let us recall what physical fitness is. Physical fitness is the capacity to perform your daily tasks without undue fatigue and still has extra energy for recreation and emergency. Physical fitness is consists of 10 components. These are muscular strength and endurance, cardiovascular fitness, flexibility, balance, coordination, speed, agility, power, reaction time, and body composition. These components are grouped into two, skill-related fitness or SRF, health-related fitness or HRF. Skill-related fitness or SRF are agility, balance, power, speed, coordination, and reaction time. It is used to determine the ability to enhance one's performance in athletic or sports events. Health-related fitness or HRF are cardiovascular fitness, muscular strength and endurance, flexibility, and body composition. It is the ability of a person to become and stay physically healthy. Now, what activities have you done after waking up this morning that involve body movement? If your answer is, these are physical activities. These are activities performed during any time of the day or night. This include exercises and incidental activities integrated in our daily routine. Examples are walking, going to the market, doing household chores, or just simply dancing using your TikTok application. What will happen if someone is not physically active? Lack of physical activity is associated with a range of negative health outcomes. It can cause obesity and cardiovascular diseases. So today, I will give 5 steps on how to start a fitness program. To start a fitness program, the first thing that you need to do is to assess your fitness level. In assessing your fitness level, you need to consider recording the following. First, pulse rate. Second, how long can you walk or run? Third, how many push-ups can you do? Fourth, your waist circumference. Lastly, body mass index. It is easy to say that you will exercise every day, but you need a plan. As you design your fitness program, keep these points in mind. First, consider the fitness goal. Second, Create a balanced routine. Third, start low and progress slowly. Fourth, build activity into your daily routine. Fifth, plan to include different activities. Sixth, try high interval intensity training. Seventh, allow time for recovery. Lastly, put it on paper. Money is not a hindrance in formulating a fitness program. Materials and equipment are available. Just be creative and innovative. You can make a self-made fitness equipment made from recyclable materials. Just choose those that are practical, enjoyable, and easy to use. Now, you're ready for action. As you begin your fitness program, keep these things in mind. Start slowly and build up gradually. Break things up if you have to. 
Be creative. Listen to your body. Be flexible. Lastly, you need to monitor your progress. You may notice that you need to increase the amount of time you exercise in order to continue improving. If you lose motivation, set new goals or try new activities. Exercising with a friend or a family member may help too. In formulating a physical activity, the acronym FITT can be of great help. Frequency, how often you will do the exercise. Intensity, how hard you will do the exercise. Time, how long you will do the exercise. Type, what kind of exercise you will do. Physical activity can be applied in doing household chores. For our activity today, we're going to identify what FITT principle is observed in the following situations. You are given 10 seconds to answer and write it on your activity notebook. 1. Melody does the dishes three times a day every after meal. 2. Melody finished washing her clothes in an hour. 3. Alvin carries 20 liters of water to fill a drum inside a bathroom. 4. Alvin scrubs the floor using his legs alternately to exercise his lower extremities. I'm Teacher Kaizen. Thank you for listening and always remember to stay healthy.